Okay, just going to talk you through how to start uh, SQL Developer. Okay, first of all, I assumed that you've already installed the database 10G and SQL Developer. We will begin by starting the database. And that's now running. So that's created a connection server running. Then if we go to oops, go to database homepage, notice this is made on a local connection. Uh, the username you want to put in is system and the password will be whatever password it was you entered when you installed the product. So login. First of all, we're going to go to administration and then database users. Yours might look a little bit different to mine because obviously I've already set this up, but if you click on HR, um, you want to put the password in, so we're just going to put a password of HR in. Uh, make sure it's unlocked. Make sure connect and resource are both clicked and click alter user and that will unlock the HR schema for you to use. Okay, so that's enough of that. We can now proceed to go to SQL Developer. I've just put a link on my desktop. So if we run that, this should be the program that you're familiar with for creating SQL statements. Okay, so obviously make sure it's associated with all SQL files. Uh, click to add a connection. It doesn't really matter what you call the connection name, I'm just going to put it local because it is a local connection. Make sure the uh, username and password is HR, just like we've just entered save that and uh, again it doesn't really matter what's in down here because it's just going to be a local connection so click connect and it should make us a connection and populate with all the tables which we had before in the lab so we'll just do desk entries You can see that works okay. That's just a simple describe statement demonstrating that the program's running efficiently.